In this course, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and use conversations to improve how you close deals and simplify your sales process. There have been tremendous benefits of using AI to improve how you sell. Reps that use AI to automate manual tasks are saving up to two hours a day. Sellers that use AI to inform their deals have seen their win rates increase by 26%. And teams using conversation intelligence are reporting a 21% increase in revenue. AI-powered call recordings is one of the few places you can set up one thing and see an impact in all three of those buckets. But conversations in Apollo does more than that. It's gonna help you out in a whole bunch of ways, big and small. AI-powered call recordings will let you ditch the manual note-taking process. You'll be more focused on what the person's saying, asking better questions. It'll strengthen your discovery process. It'll help keep track of every time someone mentions a competitor or an objection, not only in a single meeting, but across all your meetings. It'll allow you to proactively multi-thread on those bigger deals with ease. It'll help you to craft hyper-tailored follow-up emails that are gonna be easy for you, and they're gonna wow your prospect. And there's a whole bunch of ways to get better at sales, to provide feedback, and improve your overall sales process. So that's what this course is gonna cover, setting up conversations in your account, how to use conversations to record your meetings and using the AI powered insights to improve how you sell and how many deals you're closing. To set up conversation, we're gonna integrate wherever you have your meetings, like Zoom, Teams, or Google Meet. We're gonna set your permissions and then we're gonna add something called keyword trackers. Follow along in your account, let's do this together. Now, before you go get it set up, you just wanna make sure your mailbox is linked. If it's not, or you're not sure, just click on settings at the bottom left, manage mailboxes at the top right, and you'll see if your mailbox is linked right here. If it isn't, click link mailbox at the top right. Once you're sure you've got your mailbox linked, you need to do that so that conversation has access to your calendar. Click on conversations under winning close. Once you're here, just click set up conversations now the first thing it's going to ask you is where you have in your meetings, Zoom, Google Meet, or Microsoft Teams. You can connect one or multiple. Start with the one you have most of your sales meetings in. For me, that's Google Meet. Because I'm signed into Apollo with a Google account, integration is very simple. You just hit connect and you're good to go. Once you connect your meeting software, then you'll have to set some permissions. The first one being, do you want all users on your Apollo account to have their meetings recorded automatically, or do you want to manually add those users in the future? If there's multiple users already on your account, you can choose which ones should have their meetings recorded right down here. And finally, you'll need to add trackers. Now, keyword trackers are your way of telling Apollo Conversation what to be looking for in your meetings, words or phrases that when said, you want Apollo Conversations to track. There's pre-built ones in here provided by Apollo that you can use, or you can edit them as well. Any of these that you don't want set up, just hit delete. If you want to edit them, just hit the pencil. You'll be able to add more custom trackers once you're done with setup. Once you finish with trackers, you'll see this pop up letting you know that you've set up conversations and you're good to get started. The first thing we're going to do is hop into recording configurations. So you can set up which meeting should automatically get recorded versus which ones that shouldn't. I'll show you where you can find your upcoming meetings so you can toggle on or off if they'll be recorded or if other people on the team can see them. I'll show you where the meeting recordings live, how to associate them with deals, and what to do if you have a last minute meeting as well. So let's hop in, let's do it together. So we're at the home screen. Before we click into conversations, let's go to settings and check our recording configurations. Just go to settings and click on conversations and you'll see a few different menus here. The first one is recording settings. This is where you can tell Apollo which meeting should or shouldn't be automatically recorded. The first one at the top is going to ask you, do you only want meetings with external participants recorded or can it be any meeting? The next one's going to be where you can place domains that you don't want recorded, whether it be a partner or a customer or a client that you don't want their meetings recorded or they've requested that, you can put the domain right here. The last question is, how long does a meeting need to be for Apollo to analyze it. You can throw a threshold here. It won't analyze anything shorter than that. The next screen is recording consent. This is where you can let people know 
that they'll be in a meeting that's being recorded. The top is for announcements that will play in the meeting at the beginning of a meeting. The bottom will be for email notifications for internal, external participants, and you can set the text of that notification right here as well. You'll have recorded users next and how to handle new users on the Apollo account. Do you want everybody that's added to have their meetings recorded or do you only want to have the ones that you manually add? You can see all the current users of conversations below that and if there's any issues with the syncing of their information. You'll see something like this, link mailbox with a warning if something's not working. The last two screens you'll see are trackers and scorecards. Now we, we went through trackers when we first set up conversations. This is where you can come back if you want to make edits, add new keywords or categories, or delete something you already have. Now, a word of warning, if you don't have the tracker set up, you can't retroactively apply it. So it's better to put everything in you think you might want tracked early than regret it and put it in later. So if you think it's something you might be concerned about, pop it in, you could always make edits. The last one here is scorecards, where you can build out scorecards for people to grade each other's meetings, whether they're peers, managers, training department, whatever you want. You can create different scorecards by hitting create scorecard up here, and then people can share their meetings to get feedback. I'll show you that in a later video. Once you're done setting up your configurations, let's go back to the home screen and click on conversations. This is the conversations homepage. You'll see some data at the top, but let's get straight to how do we know if our meetings are going to be recorded. Over here, you'll see your recorded meetings and my upcoming meetings. Let's click on my upcoming meetings. If you've synced your mailbox and calendar and you have upcoming meetings, you should see them here. You'll see a brief description of what the meeting is, how many people are going to be attending, the date and time. And to the right, you'll be able to toggle on recording on or off. Blue is on, gray is off. So if you want to change that for any meeting, you can just pop over here and toggle that. The three dots will give you an option to set visibility to private if you don't want other people to be able to see these meetings in their conversations as well. Your recorded meetings will live right here. You'll be able to click right into them and see the full meeting recording, who was talking and when, and when screen share was occurring. You can speed it up if you'd like, go full screen, but everything is here for your meeting recording. Meetings need to be on the calendar and synced over to Apollo for them to show up in my upcoming meeting. So if you have a last minute meeting or something that's not showing up here, you'll notice there's a record now button at the top right. When you click that, you can pop in the meeting URL from Google Meet, Teams, or Zoom and send your Apollo recorder over to that meeting, even if it's occurring in just a couple minutes. I've got a meeting happening just about to start actually. So I'm going to go grab the URL and pop it in here to make sure the recorder will come over. Go to the invite, grab the link, pop it in, and hit record now. That'll send the recording bot to that meeting. It'll show up in your recorded meetings right here. Now you're probably going to have a lot of sales meetings and you, you want to find them easily, not scrolling up and down a screen that has tons of meetings on. You'll notice you can sort them at the top right but you've also got filters you can use to find meetings for a specific company with somebody involved in those meetings, specific tags, trackers, or scoring. All these filters are available. If you don't want to see them, you can always hit hide filters and they'll disappear. Then the focus will be on your recorded meetings. The last thing I want to show you is how you can associate a deal to one of your recorded meetings. It's great having all the information related to a prospect and a deal that's in progress. So you've got one source of truth, everything from that cold lead to the meetings you're running and all the insights involved. You'll see uh, next to your recorded meetings, a little button to associate a deal. I had this meeting here with Sonny. I'm going to hit associate deal. And I can search through my existing deals, or if I haven't created one in Apollo yet, I can hit create deal right there. I'm going to select the one that I've already created and hit apply. The details of that deal are now associated with this meeting. And when I go to my funnel and check that deal, I'll see this conversation and all the insights associated with it there as well. First, I'll walk you through your call insights where AI recaps various parts of the conversation to make it easy to find anything you're looking for. 
I'm gonna show you one of the newest features, Ask Apollo, where you can ask the AI anything about your meeting and get an answer. We'll cover auto-apply emails to save you time there, sharing clips, tagging other people in, scorecards, and playlists. Follow along in your account, let's do it together. So we're on the home page. I'm gonna click on conversations because I wanna show you some of the really cool things you can do with AI powered call recordings. So I'm gonna select one of my meetings that's already been recorded. Now on the left, you'll see the video. You can always just watch that like any old video recording. Beneath that, you'll see all the times that people were talking as well as when they're screen share, if it helps you identify specific moments. But to the right, you'll see AI has already started to generate value. Under the summary section, you're gonna see multiple recaps of what happened in that meeting. In this case, you'll see I've got a recap of the outcome, the next steps, and who said them, objections, pain points, and every question that was asked in the meeting. You can just click on the time, it'll take you directly to that moment in the meeting. Now at the top of the screen is something even cooler, brand new, it's called Ask Apollo. When you click that, this will pop out where you can ask Apollo any questions you want about what happened in that meeting. It'll generate a reply, and if you like it, you can just hit right here to copy it, post it in the comments, or your notes on the record, wherever you keep your information. The next tab in Insights is Transcript. When you get over here, you'll have a full transcript. Probably don't really care for that too much, but what you will care for is the fact you can search the transcript here, and you can highlight anything in that transcript to easily make clips or share it. Just find the moment you want to share, You'll see that you can copy the text, comment directly on the record here. At that time, you could tag other folks in, but if you click that, create a clip film reel, it'll take just that segment you highlighted, give it a title, a description, and hit create clip. You can share that outside of your organization in case you wanna send a clip to your prospect, for example. The next tabs in Insights are trackers and comments. With trackers, you'll get a full rundown of any of your keyword trackers that were said during the meeting. You can even click on it and it'll take you directly to that moment in the transcript. If you wanna see it on the video, just click the time. It'll automatically bring you to that point so you can hear the person say. Comments is where you can leave comments for yourself or for other people in the organization. If there's something you wanna note, you can pop it in here and you can tag other folks in. So I'll tag my boss and post they'll get a notification about the comment. Now, of course, you're probably gonna to wanna to be following up with your prospect. You'll notice at the top right, there's a blue button that says auto draft email. If you hit that, it's gonna to put together a great follow-up email that you can use, or you can edit it further. It'll provide a link to the meeting recording for your prospect, an overview of what was discussed, next steps that were identified, and some pleasantries at the end, of course, you can add anything you'd like or adjust this, but it's a great starting point. And if you aren't doing follow-up emails, this is gonna be a major upgrade. Now we've been in the insights tab for this meeting all along. You'll notice there's details, which will pro provide a breakdown of who was in the meeting and it, any deals it's associated with. You'll see your clips over here. If you take a clip, it'll show up here. You can rewatch it, reshare it from here, but you'll also see scoring. This is an easy way to provide feedback to your team or to request feedback from your boss or a peer. You'll notice that you can select a scorecard if you're providing feedback or you can request feedback as well. Just hit request score, choose the evaluator, pick the scorecard you want them to use and you can define these in settings for conversations and hit request. They'll get a notification ask him to fill out that scorecard and watch the meeting or the specific moments of the meeting that you requested. And then when they finish it, it'll show up right here in responses. It's so important to always be getting better and getting feedback. If you're only able to get feedback on one meeting every once in a while, you won't improve fast enough. So if you're on a team, start doing peer-to-peer -peer feedback sessions. Oftentimes you appreciate the feedback from people doing the same job more than you do anybody else anyways. The last thing I wanna show you is playlists. You'll see a tab when you go back to the main conversations menu. And from there, you can put together playlists just like on Spotify or YouTube of the best meetings or meetings that fit into a certain category. Potentially you wanna create a playlist of the best meetings for that month to highlight people on the team or 
great examples of certain situations or objections being handled. Just go to Create Playlist, give it a name, say who can watch it, is it only on your team or anybody can, and hit Create. Once you got your playlist created, you can start choosing which meetings you want to put in there. Just go to the meeting, hit the three dots next to it, and go Add to Playlist. That's the end of the course. You're now all set up with conversations and with AI powered call recording, you're about to transform the way you sell. So best of luck, happy selling.